that I've forecast. Here's the total number of deaths. Here's the total number of cases, rather, at 19,000. Um, up to day 15 of the coronavirus, which was the... I don't know what day 15 was. The WHO report, the 3rd of February, day 14, actually. And if you actually go, you take the first 10 days, it looks like that, okay, up to 8,000 cases. Um, if you take a longer period, you actually get nearly 19,000, 18,000 cases, 17,000 actually. But if you put an exponential trend line on that, it doesn't work okay it's not exponential it's actually almost linear isn't it there you go that's avoiding forecasting it the the exponential does not really fit that well to be quite honest let's try a quadratic fit let's try a quadratic fit format trend line daddy 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 let's try a bu 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 can you have a polynomial fit? I don't know. Let's try a polynomial fit. Maybe that's actually a polynomial fit fits a lot better. A parabolic fit. Now that's what that guy noticed before. A parabolic fit is almost perfect. Oh, that is very, very strange, isn't it? That is a very odd. Logarithmic obviously won't fit. Linear doesn't fit. Um, moving average. I wonder if moving average fits. That's just the moving average anyway. Power curve. Never mind. A polynomial fit. Let's try a cubic curve. A polynomial fit. However many orders you have. Um, fits quite well. But even go to even a even a just a order two polynomial fit fits quite well that is very very odd that's not what you'd expect you'd expect an exponential fit to fit and it doesn't really the percentage change has been going down a little bit you can't really see it on here if you did it on a log chart and this is on a log chart okay this is the cases, the severe cases and the deaths. There's a little bit of a steepening at the end of January and then in early February it starts to tail off a little bit. Uh, I haven't got as much data on here so I'm going to do a bit more data. But that's quite interesting. Uh, an ex see a log chart, it should be a dead straight line. Okay. Um, and obviously it's a, the data's a bit grainy at the at the start anyway um, but when I get all the data these should be straight lines if it's an exponential but it's not an exponential you can tell it's not an exponential um, because an exponential curve just does not fit but very bizarrely a polynomial curve fits and I really don't quite understand that that is very very odd let's forecast forwards then